Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. In this episode, we're going to troubleshoot some of the most common problems in a Delta Tech 2 sensor flushometer. This applies to both urinals and water closets, as the models are nearly identical except for the spud diameter and size. Flushometers are also known as flush valves, but function quite differently from the flush valves found in residential toilets. In a Delta Tech 2, a flexible rubber diaphragm sits between the upper and lower chambers. At rest, high pressure water in the upper chamber keeps the diaphragm closed tightly on the valve seat. When the sensor is activated, the solenoid valve opens and releases water from the upper chamber. This creates a vacuum which lifts the diaphragm up from the valve seat. The water from the inlet then travels down the flush pipe. As the water flows, some of the water slowly travels through the bypass and will eventually fill the upper chamber. The flush will continue until the pressure pushes the diaphragm down once again. Continuous flushing can happen when the upper chamber does not fill with water. Either the bypass isn't letting in enough water or the solenoid isn't closing. Another cause can be the diaphragm. If it's stuck open, then the water will continue to flow during a flush. Open the bypass by turning the regulating screw counterclockwise and check for buildup of debris or sediment, which might be clogging the bypass. You can watch the video link below to see this in detail. Both the solenoid and diaphragm can be easily replaced if damaged or stuck. You can watch these in the video's link below. If there's an excessive amount of water coming out during each flush, then first check the inlet stop. Close the inlet stop valve all the way, then open it one complete turn. Check the position of the regulating screw and make sure that there are no obstructions. If there is not enough water to properly flush the bowl, then first check the inlet stop. Open the inlet stop fully and check the operation. Check the pipes for any obstruction or corrosion. Water flow rate is dependent on the pressure, so the pipe size, length, and the number of fixtures in the building can all affect the flow rate of each flush. If there are no lights and no power, check to see if the four AA batteries are positioned correctly in the holder. Check the positive and negative signs for the right position. If the position is correct, but there is still no power, and replace the batteries. You can watch this in the video linked below. When the unit has power and the lights are showing, but the valve doesn't flush, check to see if the solenoid makes a clicking sound. If there is no sound, then replace the cast cap solenoid assembly. You can watch this in the video linked below. If you found this video useful, hit like. To keep up to date with Repair and Replace, please subscribe. And for the widest selection of parts, low prices, and same-day shipping, explore our website below. Thanks for watching.